Superplex shot again. I'm Brandon Bordo with Senior Winter Soccer Gahnawagi taking on uh, one of the Shadagay teams. Shadagay, one win, eight losses, and a tie coming in. Seven on seven, if you include the goaltender, so six on six, and that one's booted up ahead by tonight's starting keeper. I believe that's number 19, if I'm not mistaken. Paxton Phillips, all right. I got my jerseys down, Pat, already. That's looking good. That's intercepted and played up by Norton. Up ahead to LeBlanc. 42 in black. There's a nice lead pass and the goaltender comes out and breaks that one up. Still no score. Held in by the Lady Mohawks. Kicked up. This is bouncing loose in the goal crease in the goal line. Near the goal line, I should say. And pardon me, but this is the second time I have ever done soccer. So, sorry if that soccer, the soccer... Uh, terms aren't coming up to my brain as it's kicked wide on the corner and it'll be a throw-in for Chattagay. Throwing up to midfield, headed away by the defender. Overomo avoids touching the ball with her hand and keeps play alive. And now booted up. On to the Gothenwagi side of things where the netminder Phillips will give it a left boot back up to midfield. Intercepted by Chattagay. Gothenwagi one point back, or sorry, two points ahead coming into action tonight here for first place in the league standings. And this will be a throw in. Uh, the defender taking it. Thrown in. To the attacking LeBlanc, the striker, who will put this one right on net. Goaltender comes out. Don't forget, this is obviously an abbreviated field, not quite a six, not quite a full field because of the fact that it's six on six plus a tender or a keeper. You could say keeper, this is the right sport. Booted up ahead by LeBorn, the defenseman, back up and kicked back into Shadagi's end of the field where the attacker LeBlanc goes after it. And booted up, I think that one, it's going to be a throw in. Alright. Not touched by a Mohawks defender. Five to win for Gunnawagi over Mercy last week here to retain first place in the league standings coming into action tonight. Loa Bourne on the throw in. Booted up ahead, and that's going to be kicked away. No offside. And the ball will roll out of bounds. Throw in, Mohawks. Cheyenne Poveromo. She will throw it in. And that'll be intercepted as Poveromo thought she would have had a little bit more time than she did have. Donna Wagi's defense comes in. Boot it up. Chetney got rid of the ball, but the Mohawks on the intercept. Here's a kick, and that'll hit someone in the back of the leg and deflect right on. And the keeper comes out, boots this one up to the striker, LeBorn at defense. Two midfielders as well. And that's the flag was not up, so no offside. That's gonna be a throw-in. We're going to have a substitution on the field. Not Santana Cross is in, wearing 17. That's my, that's my logo that I have, my jersey now. Here's a kick off the iron. Got a long game coming in first place, but they have the third best goals, four goals against differential coming in, so. There's a throw in. And that'll be booted out and a throw in coming in for Shattagay. We played, I believe we've got two 25 minute halves if I'm not mistaken. No stoppage time added.
Obviously with no head coach. It's up to the players themselves to determine the change. And a quick shot on by LeBlanc. That's stopped. Good save by the tender. Keeping this game a nil-nil score. That's it. It's not nothing-nothing. It's nil-nil. you got to become familiar with the soccer terms. Booted away. And we got a whistle. And... We got a free kick coming up for the team in, well, the home team anyway, the Shot Gay squad. There's the boots, and it's stopped away by the defender, Gahan de Laborn. Booted back up to the near side of the field, and here's Poveromo, the midfielder, up to the striker, Marissa LeBlanc, 42. LeBlanc up ahead, Poveromo, that's a perfect lead feed, right on, and that'll be caught and snared. By Cook, sorry, that's Cook on the kick. Into Phillips, and she's going to let it go back behind the net, so that means a goal kick coming up for Gahnawage. If you're just joining us, it's two 25-minute halves. Nil-nil are scoring. Yes, I'm using nil. That's a soccer correct term. I've watched a lot of World Cup soccer in my day. Ironically, this is the one sport where I never had dreams that I'd be playing professionally. As Gunnawagi kicks it away, we've got a corner kick coming in. Unfortunately, no male soccer program in the community when I was here. Right up. Uh, glorious opportunity here for Shadigi. We haven't had the play to our left that often here in this first half. But this is a corner kick, so Gunnawagi's defense has to come up large. There's the kick. And nearly kicked in on the far side. And that will lead to a throw-in. As Chateaugay brings it in. Gahan de la Bourne, the defender, kicks one back towards the center field area. And back comes Gahnawagi, but it's kicked away. And here comes the strikers. There's the kick. Right on, a rebound! Couldn't get it. Now there's a boot. That'll go over the top, and we've got a goal kick coming up. For Shattergate. Some close calls early here. That's booted up. There's it's corralled back at midfield, but the Ducks make the play and it's kicked out. Right to our right, we're going to have a throw in coming up, and here comes one of my favorite cousins, Gahandi LeBorn, throwing it in. And LeBlanc's got an open look! <laughs> That's just sent wide, and a goal kick coming up. I like the way Gunnawag has carried the first, oh, 15 minutes or so of this game. First nine minutes, sorry, of this game. We've got about 16 minutes of running time left here in this first half. No score. Booted up the field. And that'll come right by us and go into the Gunnawagi bench. Almost hit me, but I don't count for anything here. And throw in Mohawks. LeBlanc boots one up. Intercepted at the last line of defense. And that will go out. We've got a throw in. Back up. Here's the blast and a finish to the far side. Yango to Hizu Delarun, buries one. And that gets this baby on the road. one nothing Gahnawagi leading. And I can't find my pen. Just remember, we that goal was scored at about the 10-minute mark of the first half. So 15 minutes in, 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Yango to Hizu Delarone, the midfielder, has got a goal which has put Gahnawagi up by a score of one to nothing. And that'll be booted off of uh, Gahnawagi foot. And a throw in coming in, coming up for Chateaugay. Young with the Hizu Delarone has the goal. Remember, we're playing six on six instead of the usual 11 on 11 like you would see uh, in a soccer game outdoors at this level. And that's booted out by the team in gray. So we're gonna have a throw in. 
headed up by McGregor. That's intercepted, causing some trouble are the Mohawks, and that's kicked, and it's just wide. Going right and kicking left, but unfortunately not being able to finish, but still a good opportunity for the Mohawks, and Donawagi leads this one by a score of one to nothing. Well, a win here would keep, get the Mohawks once again back in first place. Uh, Mercier's number two team and Valley Field both in the running as well so it's going to be a really interesting finish over the last couple of weeks of the season which of course we saw two months wiped out or at least postponed due to the uh closures delarone leblanc on the far side she's back at midfield now leborn to leblanc LeBlanc boots one over and a good job on the near side here just keeping it in bounds but there's a turnover. Ball goes towards the out of bounds line, not out. Good job keeping the ball in bounds as they corral it with the left foot. Booted up ahead but that pass was intercepted and played up to midfield. Now the Mohawks get it back in their own end. Good aggressive challenge. Delarone comes back, boots one up and the netminder will there be there to intercept that and 13 minutes to go here in this first half. The long ball is played and that one will corral out of bounds. One nothing lead. Um, Cook has moved to midfield. And now it's played back up to the goaltender who we we'll pick this one up. Paxton Phillips boots one up. LeBlanc coming back. Heads one over to the far side and that'll be neat away. And the ball goes out and that'll be a throw in for Gahnawage. Fellero, the goal scorer. Over to Cook. Amber Cook lets one go, she scores! A solid shot from just inside 30 yards out, and Gahnawagi is up by a score of two to nothing. Uh, maybe 25. My math is a little off today. Sorry about that. Either event, they all count this game, and Gahnawagi's squad, the senior women's team, has a two nothing lead. On the seniors, though, there's a good mix of young blood and some veterans. Rolling towards the out of bound line, right the near side. LeBlanc with a good challenge. LeBorn boots one up and settled in and played up to an open side. And that's kicked off of Agathnawagi Ronu and out, so a throw in coming up for Shadigay. And Phillips has to come out. Good aggressive play here to. Get that one away just before Shadigay had a chance to get a good opportunity. Just one shot on net so far for Shadigay. And along it with seven, and there'll be a rotation. Poppy Dibo in for Cook, who just scored. So two goals from the midfield here. Delaro. And that'll be a throw in. And Rachel LeBorn's coming to the bench. And they quickly counter attack here to Shadigay off the intercepted throw in. And that's booted just a bit too far. It'll cream out of bounds. And we have a throw in coming up for Gonawage. Gonawage in gray with black trim. Shadigay in the dark blue jerseys with gray trim and green. Don't be worried if you're having trouble differentiating between the two teams at home, because I know I am. That's going to be rolled out of bounds. They say it's Shadigay who touched it last. LeBlanc feeds one up ahead on the throw-in. Corralled by Shadigay and Delarone back for it. Gets it over to the near side for LeBlanc. LeBlanc kicks one up, looking to feed that long ball, and it's deflected out.
LeBlanc throws it in. Headed far and just wide. And Delarone trying to double dip here, but her header just goes wide. Goal kick coming up for Shattigay. We've got about eight minutes remaining in this first half. That's coming right for me. There's the throw in. Delaro knocks it down with the head. Good head. Poppy Delibo back on defense. Delaro. Over to Poppy Daibo. Daibo. Tries to get a shot off and she misses near side. Tried to cross this one but unfortunately just ran out of real estate. She went, let one go from a few more inch feet out. Maybe that would have curved in on that. As a result it just ends up being a goal kick for Shadigate. Down by a score of 2-0 here. See how close we are to the action here on the field. And Gahnawagi with the throw in. Delarone. Delarone trying to feed LeBlanc and that one goes out of bounds. It'll be a Shadigate throw in. I'm sure Marissa had some kind words for Greg Horn there on the sideline. Probably not. And now booted up ahead. That's going to be hit. And it just goes out. It careens out. Throw in Gahnawage. Back to the attack. And that hits a leg and goes out. And we're going to have a throw in coming up for the home team. Chattagee tied St. Stanislas last week. That was a two-all tie. Gahnawage 5-2 win over Mercy 8-1. And there's a lead pass. One on one at the far end, and Delarone back on the fence knocks this one away. We've got a throw in coming up here on the near side. It's going to be Gunnawagi with the throw in here. And that hits Poppy Daibo in the... I'm not saying it hit her in the hand, but it might have. Booted up. Delarone playing the long ball. She's got a player downfield, and it's booted back towards the netminder who will come out and stop this before anything amounts. Shadagi on a change. Punted towards the Gahnawagi end of the field, and that one careens out. And thrown in. And now LeBlanc gets in behind the defense and the ball just didn't slow down in time. That's the one thing you got to remember here. It, the offside rule in in this sport is you have to be able once the ball is passed if you're gonna feed the ball up uh, you can't be behind the last defender but that goes out the window when it's in this league and just because it's 2 nothing here and usually in soccer that lead is safe but in this game with this kind of end-to-end -end action with only six players on both teams it's far from a guarantee is that's intercepted on the throw-in Paxton Phillips playing defensive safe, safety there and intercepting that pass. That hits a Shadigay foot and goes out. Delarone is out. Cook is in. Delarone and Cook each have the goals for the Mohawks. Booted up and that hits a leg right in front. Bible knocks it down. She corrals it, tries to feed it out in front. That pass is intercepted and away comes Shadigay with two on two. A lead pass. Phillips has to get there, and she does before the striker for Shadigay is able to corral it. Picked up by Gunawage. 
And that one intercepted. Good challenge by Chattagay. And that'll be kicked out and we've got a throw in coming up. Played on the far side and it'll roll out. Gunhawage throw in. Hook boots one and that one splits the uprights. Doesn't count for three sports. No, three points in this game though. Three minutes to go approximately here in this first half. LeBourne volleys it up. And that'll be deflected off of a Chateauguas and we'll have a goal goalie kick coming up as we're getting closer to the end of this first half. Nice feed to Cook at midfield. Cook leads one up. And in behind Lauder and we'll have a Shadagy throw in. Cook on defense. We got a whistle and a bit of an aggressive challenge, and that'll lead to a Gahnawagi free kick. It lands on net and forces the tender to come up with the save. Sixth shot on net in this first half for Gahnawagi, just one shot on net for Shad again. More importantly, Gahnawagi leads by two. Here's another chance, and they finish. And that'll make it a 3-0 score. As we have about a minute and a half left in this first half. LeBlanc on the goal. And Gahnawage up by three. Play resumes. Now we've got a whistle. That is the end of a first half, which sees Gahnawagi leading by a score of 3 2 0. <laughs> We're back here, second half. Gahnawagi leading 3 0 over Shadagi in the indoor winter league. A win for Gahnawagi would put them in first place. Guaranteed, this, no matter what the result was of the Mercier 1 game earlier tonight. And they got a bye heading into next week, so I'm sure a victory would make them feel a little bit more Gregor. Here comes Mia McGregor all alone. McGregor open, look, and that's right on, and a nice stop by the Chaudier tender. Played up to midfield, intercepted. Lauder. Boots one up and that'll go out. A little miscommunication and throw in coming up for Shadagi. And that'll be headed out. This on a day where Team Canada's men's soccer team made it to the World Cup for the first time since 1986 by beating Jamaica and now we've got indoor soccer on baby blue memories how about that and we've got a throw in I believe coming up yeah it's a it's a corner kick sorry yeah a corner kick coming in for Shadagay here so Shadagi trying to get on the board, trailing by a score of three to nothing. Kicked out, and that's intercepted by Paxton Phillips, and she'll boot this one up to LeBlanc, just a bit too far. 
and we've got a throw in coming up here. There's the throw in. Booted up ahead. Daibo kicks it back to her defensive partner. Water has it knocked away. And LeBorn played it when it was already out, so that's why Gunawagi is going to get the throw in here. LeBorn up for McGregor, trying to attack, and that's going to be picked off by the Shadigi defender. Booted up ahead and picked up by Shadigay. The ball back to LeBorn. LeBorn up to midfield. Lauder gets through. Nice little move. LeBlanc takes the time. Has a look. Cranks it just over the top. Trying to go upstairs on the far side. And a goaltender, or sorry, a goalie kick coming up here for Shadigan. So you have two players getting their wires crossed here in terms of communications. And now we're finally going to get the, uh, the change. <laughs> Intercepted. And Shadigan comes back on the now counter attack. Played up the midfield, Daibo knocked it down, intercepted, and kicked up the field. That is last touched by the Chateau Guaz, and we have a throw in. McGregor, nice move, going outside. She'll crank it, and right on, good stop. That's booted out of play. And we have a goalie kick. Canada beating Jamaica in men's soccer, so that guarantees them a trip to the World Cup in Qatar. And that one will go out. And a goalie kick coming up once again for Phillips. Just about five minutes played here in the second half. Got Nawagi by three. Delaro trying to go inside and outside. Got it cut off. Intercepted. Played over to the far side, and they're not going to be able to get a shot off. It goes out. We have a goalie kick coming up for the Chateau Guaz. There's the play. Kicked up. There'll be a throw-in on the far side. LeBlanc boots it down. Played up to an open area of the field. Delaron turning. She's already got one. Delaron trying to cross it and it lands on goal and it forces the netminder to come up with her 10th save of the day and this one's booted out. Great bias. Unfortunately, for Shadagin, it'll be a throw in for the Lady Mohawks. Cook. Trying to split the fenders and nearly did. Dive on the far side. Booted! And it goes in!
And Daibo has put this before nothing. Letting one go off of the right foot and the ball sails in. And that should probably put this game out of reach, even though we still have 18 minutes left here in this contest. That'll be a goalie kick. There's another one of those young players who have come in and made a difference here. Uh, Pop and Daibo on this uh, senior team. Delarone. And that'll be booted out and a throw in coming up for the team in gray. Corner kick coming up now, I believe. Oh, it did not hit a Shadiguaz, so it'll be a goalie kick for the squad trailing by a score of 4 0 here. Boot it up. Good job keeping the play alive, but now Gunawagi comes back on the counter. Breaking through. There's a cranker and a nice stop by the tender. Shot came in from just outside 20 yards out. Booted up by Delarone, or up to Delarone, I should say, by Laborn, who's playing on defense. Off of a gun hole, get her to an out of bounds, Shadagi throwing on the far side. That'll be booted right on, and Paxton Phillips makes her second save of the evening. Out of bounds, throw in Donawage. And that'll be deflected behind the net and out of play. We've got a goalie kick. Goalkeeper's kick coming up for Chateauguay, down by a score of 4 to nothing. And that'll land on net and force Paxton Phillips to make the stop. And that hit the LeBlanc. That'll go out of play and deflected on the way out. We have a goalie, uh, sorry, a throw in coming up. LeBorn. And it's booted just a little too far for the attacker, LeBlanc, and Chateauguay will come back here on the counter. And the ball bounces. And we'll just get out. Hits a Gondawagi who goes out, and I believe this is going to be a corner kick. It's a goalie kick. All right, it went straight out. All right. I have eyes that uh, the referee clearly doesn't, I guess. Or maybe he just does that I don't. I don't know. One of the two. Interception. Off of LeBourne. Comes free to midfield. And that will roll out. Throw in for Gunawagi on the far side. And boot it up and out. And now a Shadagi throw in coming up. Nearly intercepted. And that's a bit of an aggressive challenge. Firm but not fair. And that'll be a turnover. Blah, blah. Boots went up for Delarone. Got as far as the goal line. It'll be kicked out, and we've got a Gonhawagi throw in coming up. 
Cook's taking it. She throws it towards the net. LeBlanc the header! Just wide. Played up. Ball takes a high bounce. Headed towards the goal and that'll be scooped up. And we've got a throw in coming up. And that hits the Ganawagi Nordu and goes out. We've got a throw in coming up for Chateaugay. About 12 minutes left here in this second half. Ganawagi adding one in this half to take a 4 nothing lead. Corralled in and now McGregor gives chase to a loose ball. Throw in Mohawks. Out in front! Illegal throw in. You gotta throw it over the top of your head. And uh, the lights are blinking. Does that mean that we're in the premise of a to a start of a fire drill or something here? I'm a little worried. <laughs> Back comes Ganawage. And that is gonna be retrieved and we've got a throw in. Thrown towards the net. And that'll go out. And it went out along the sideline here on the near side, so it's a throw in rather than behind the goal, which would have meant the goalie kick. And now it's going to be a throw in the other way. And now we got a throw in coming up for Gunawage on the far side. Some changes being made here. Gahande Laborn is back in. McGregor lets it go, that hits us. Shadowy leg and goes back behind the net. We have a corner kick coming up. These are really big time opportunities here. We're gonna, it's interesting to see. Every time you get a corner kick, it's a great chance to score a goal. Let's see if Gunawage sets up here. And that will curve into the back of the net, but not the back of the net that you'd like if you're an attacking team. and. I'm sure Gunawagi will take that 4 nothing lead and stay the heck with it. Put it up to midfield. And that one will roll out of play and so we'll have a throw in coming up for Shadigay on the far side. Booted up, and this one will land on net, and the netminder Phillips gives this one a boot over the head of Delarone, off of the Chateauguas, and out. Throw in Gahnawage. Nice little move by Delarone, but it lands right on and forces the net, the keeper, to make the stop. McGregor keeps it in. Nice move. Ooh. Good challenge. But Gotnawagi does get a throw in here in the offensive zone. Good opportunity. Lands on net. Thibault has the only goal the second half. It's made it a 4 0 lead for Gotnawagi. Throw in coming up. And they'll give it right back.
We got a whistle. Free kick. And Shadagi with one of the dangerous opportunity potentially here coming up. There's the kick! Right on! And Phillips makes the save. Booted up by Paxton. Got as far as the other side of midfield. And Shadigay plays it back up ahead. And it goes out. Onoage on the throw in. Delarone has come back in. She withdraws it, looking for help. Plays it to the near side. Daimo coming in, can't get the shot away. And that hits Aganawagi Ronu and goes out for the Shadagi throw in. That'll go into this onto the sideline. Six minutes running time left here in the second half. Delarone. Cook. Cook lets it go. That's not on. Nice little challenge at midfield by Daibo. And it forces a turnover. Good play by Shadagi, though defensively to recover. And now that is intercepted and kicked out. We got a free kick coming up. It's 4 nothing. Five minutes left here in this uh, second half. Thrown right on net. Delarone, up ahead. Two on one. There's a drive, and it just goes wide of the far post. Two minutes left here in the second half. Okay, so we got a restarted clock here, and it says two minutes left. That's what the official has given us. Four nothing. McGregor. Trying to split the double team, and nearly did. Booted up ahead, this one will sail wide. As the final 90 seconds or so will tick off of the clock here at the Shadagi Sportsplex, where Ganawagi has delivered a very impressive businessman like performance knowing that they needed a win to stay in first place in the league standings and you know how much of a dogfight it's going to be coming down the stretch and it'll be a throw in for Shadagi coming up here that's going to be a big time dogfight that's for sure McGregor comes in McGregor gets free and she just sends it wide Letting it go with the left foot. She's not that thrilled, but I mean, she's her team's up for nothing, four nil. As we're down to about the final minute ish or so. Kicked up, and that's blocked by the last line of the fence, Rachel Leborn. Comes back and that's going to be sent over the top. And you can feel this earth shattering here of the Sadagi Sportsplex. Blah blah. Feeds one up. And that'll sail off of a Gahnawagi Dorn will go out. Sadagi has himself a throw in. And that is it. What a performance for the girls from town. 
They take it by a final count of 4-0.